Okay, here we go with the 3D view. So we have uh, modules on stilts, four of them, a fifth module on a tile floor, plus three balcony modules, and this is the 90 degree view. Uh, you click here and you rotate to 120. Um, here's a better view. And notice something interesting is that you can actually change uh, your walls on the fly. Uh, it's a rotation, really. It's not quite up to date yet because we don't have all the choices for each wall and uh, we want to make it smart. Like for instance, clicking on this one here would offer us the choice to have a patio door here, but not on this one here where you would fall off the roof. Okay, well, you can understand that. Now let's let's go further with uh, 180 degrees. Same routine here where we remove or add windows. And let's keep rolling, 240. Again, the same thing. And as I said, the, this wall, for instance, uh, not quite right because it's only offering the choice of a large window and a small window. Actually, it should be offering us the choice of a plain wall. Uh, that's going to come. We have a few misses to correct. Now, this is a 300 degree. Uh, notice, by the way, that these uh, hurricane and uh, earthquake proof houses are built on stilts. The uh, foundation differs for hurricane and earthquakes. But in the earthquake mode, like this one here, the uh, houses uh, can actually uh, not suffer any damage in the very high hurricane, very, very high, sorry, uh, earthquake level. Because basically, it's a little bit like when you're standing in the back of a pickup truck on your legs. You know, the, the truck box can shake left and right, but your body stays pretty stable. Your legs take the oscillation left to right. Now in this case, the columns take the swing. The house stays pretty inert. It's a large mass. It's very high. And the uh, steel or concrete column uh, calculated to take the horizontal uh, shear loads and deflex. So um, what we do to create some friction to uh, allow this to uh, not uh, sway and uh, get into a bouncy motion, we create uh, what, what I call friction walls. These are low-cost walls that we build downstairs and that can serve other purposes like a small shed, storage, uh, or even a garage in some cases. And basically uh, what that does is it gives you a chance to have a, a large area while keeping your house a lot safer. And you can, of course, uh, punch doors in those walls. And the connection of the walls to uh, the columns it's what's called a resilient connection. Whoop, I got a problem here with the color. Let's see what's going on here. Uh huh. Oh, okay, I got it. All right, we'll get back to this later. Not ready for the color demo yet. Okay, I was saying that the connection between the walls, wall panels downstairs and the columns is what's called a resilient friction a connection by which there's a very severe earthquake. Uh, the damage you get is in that connection basically. It's a friction connection. It's made to be re easily repaired but there will be absolutely no damage upstairs. I, I'm talking about if, if you have suspended the casing for your, your dishes. That will not disconnect from the ceiling. That will be, stay in place. And we have had these great experiences of, in over 35 years where there was zero damage. Not even the book fell off a bookshelf. Or uh, uh, the house is totally, totally stable. And the motion is almost not perceptible, even in large earthquake. The foundation shakes, but nothing else does. Now the foundation is well armored and can take a lot of side sway and, and even deformation. It's totally adjustable if there is a, a large uh, a ground motion. Uh, we'll get back to that later. Uh, something else I want to say, I've clicked on, on lines to draw the lines here, which you may or may not want, but you can also take it out or put it back on. Um, that's about it for this. Uh, yeah, by the way, why don't we just check out the possibilities of different backgrounds here. Uh, which is kind of interesting. And also, I was trying to mention to you a while ago the, uh, the, the, the variations that are possible with color. Uh, So-called artistic effects are, are quite zany and, and actually fun. This is not something we, we wrote. This came with 
with Excel, the new Excel has got wonderful graphic uh, vari variations possible. I just show, want to show you a few of them. Uh, for instance, you have uh, pastels, <laughs> and you have uh, let's let's do the background in pastel too. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure you can see this very well here. These are light pastels. And then, like, I want to harmonize that color in the back. I can go into the, the color mode here. And recolor, recolor the whole thing. For instance, uh, let's say I want to get with these uh, soft uh, blue tone for a water shore. And I can make the house uh, with the same, uh, same colors. Or again, uh, this is something that uh, we can all uh, play with at one point. It's not really that terribly important right now, but uh, it's it, it gives you the possibility of doing actually sketches that are that are quite uh, quite interesting. They they look like the real thing actually. Let me show you some, just just a few. I don't want to waste too much of your time on this. Uh, let's say we do crayon and do the same for the back here. No, we're not there color-wise. Uh, one second. Let's try something black and white, maybe. Yeah, there you go. This should be interesting. Let's try the the sea background in that same format. Well, that's kind of grainy. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to where we were at the beginning of all this and give us just a plain old background. 